It, it doesn't matter if those if, if there's a billionaire family making fun of a rap record, but they're singing to it. Yeah. Even if it is making it fun, even mm-hmm. though it's you know probably racist and probably has underlying issues, but you still listening to it. Yeah. It's still like you know. We call ourselves city, but we global, and everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. No. Only one. Re- I heard one record from you. Uh, it's the only one. Uh, that's the only one you have out right now. Uh, it's uh, featuring. Have, uh, was it Baby? Uh, Baby Walk. Yeah. Baby Walk. Um, shout out Baby Walk too. Um, I have you know a small catalog of things I've done. Like my first like real small mixtape I did with Q also. Yeah. Mostly with Q. Um, so like I have SoundCloud like everyone else. But you know I've taken that leap of faith for me is now like. I'm going to be on, like, all platforms and stuff like that. So, okay. like, you know, Kendall will be, like, my first, like, official, plat, you know, available everywhere. But yeah. I have, uh, you know, a bunch of different songs on SoundCloud. You can actually see how my music improved because I started rapping in my apartment with a little desk mic, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah, yeah. and playing a beat from YouTube. Mm-hmm. And you'll see, like, just how the production quality and everything like that just went up and up and up. So you usually can see a bit of how my own progression and how I got to where we're at today, you know. Yeah. One thing, I mean, we've, we've followed you a while, didn't really keep up with a lot of your music. Mm-hmm. But one thing I do notice, because I've seen you in some of these shows in Palm Beach, I feel like I've seen you yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I feel like, you know, like like you said, you, you, you're a real student of the game. Mm-hmm. And... Um, off rip, like even in the new record, Kendall, yeah, and the one I heard from you and, and uh, a bigger you mean with Baby Walk, that's with Baby Walk, yeah. Your sound is 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 very unique, Appreciate and it, I can't yeah. wait to see what more you do. Are you guys working on more tapes together? Yeah, like he's um the reason I didn't show you as many, mm-hmm. um, is because the ones that I have, you know, that I've seen come from you know both Joker and and Scott is that. That I have to like really reserve them because they're like super bangers. Like sometimes mm-hmm. we'll make a song that it's if we release it, it might get us, but it's like it's just it's just banging. So we're just waiting and building our vault. Yeah. Um, and now is when we're, we're starting up, so we're just gonna keep coming with consistency and consistency. So yep. you guys should see uh, way more of us. Definitely. Yeah, that's the key, man. That's the key. You've been working a long time. That's the that's the one thing I feel like separates uh, some artists from others. The ones that are successful at it, they've just been doing it. Uh, longer without quitting. Mm-hmm. Um, your name, JQ, the way it's spelled, why is that? Um, Q is, um, the, the way you spell Q like that, it's that actually, Q-U-E-U-E. It's a line, yeah, yeah. It's actually a Q line. Okay. So I always imagine that, you know, that's how many people, my name is like people just waiting in line, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Waiting in line for my record, waiting in line for oh, the yeah. studio, waiting in line for that, because I'm going to make sure I tend to each one of them. You feel me? But I don't want to make that line first. So, you know, I like the way JQ was, you know, and people people either always call me J or always call me Q. And I just, yeah. I literally just combined them. I don't know why I never corrected the other. I just didn't, you know, at the time I was like, oh, all right, well, you know, whatever. And certain homeboys, you know, you just got certain names around certain people. You know, family will call you something that yeah, your friends yeah, yeah. want, you know? stick, yeah. So it was like, those that was really close to me call me Q. And then, you know, acquaintances are cool, you know, J, you know what I mean? So it's, it's, that's just how it was. But I combined the two, and that's just how it was. That's dope. And Wednesday, yeah. Scott Wednesday. Yeah. Is, that your, is that your last name for real? No. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great? That'd be, awesome. <laughs> That'd be dope. Oh, my God. But no, Scott Wednesday is, uh, it's just a, combination you know scott pilgrim was one of my favorite like uh series comic book series i've read it i've seen the movie a trillion times and then wednesday was actually for an admiration of uh wednesday adams i don't know if you ever seen the old adams family oh okay i always no, thought it was funny how she was so like conniving and weird like she like tortured her brother and things like yeah, that yeah. i was like this girl's like crazy i was like mixing two things that i really like and putting them together mm-hmm. and then i was like it's something people don't expect but it's also memorable in a different way so scott wednesday that's deep. That's uh, yeah. <laughs> That's deep, man. You like I said before, like you remind me of a uh, freaking. Yeah. What's well, you talking, talking about? Tyler, yeah, Tyler the creator, yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. You give me a little, a little Tyler vibe. Yeah, Tyler's cool. Yeah, he's a he's all he's one of those characters that really makes you think sometimes. You might not even like his rap speed, but I, I mean, I like a lot of Tyler shit, but um. You might not like everything he does, but he does yeah. it in a way that's so unique. You're like, wow, like you can tell like the effort and like passion he was behind it. You know, I think I think it's. Uh, it's very beneficial for artists mm-hmm. to indulge in different things. I agree. You know, like I feel like a lot of artists are scared to uh, to be into. You know, what I mean, to go outside their comfort zone. Yeah, I mean, and, that's why or are too tough to 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 do certain things. For sure. But when you when you 
into comics and you're into mm-hmm. different different lifestyles, it's more for you to speak about and to relate to people in different ways, you know? Yeah, for sure. It's just, you know, I feel like sometimes it lets you bring just something new and unique to people by yeah. doing it yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, you sometimes you're like the you're like the black nerdy kid as opposed yeah. to something that people are used to, you know what I mean? I mean, all respect to Palm Beach artists, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's just like, Maybe people are like, oh shit, like I can be, I could look at these, you know, I, I watch anime and all these things that other people don't normally expect. Especially for your evolution as yeah. an art. Like you see, like we, we were on this show talking about Lil Wayne a little bit mm-hmm. with Van Damme, and it's like, yeah, like Lil Wayne went through all these different phases yeah. of his, of, of making music, mm-hmm. and, and um, they were for different people at different times, you know, it's yeah. just, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so personally, what would you say about your, your evolution? Uh, as a musician, how you started out, what you was rapping about then, and and what you're rapping about now. You know, it's a little crazy. It's more like um, the substance is is not that it's the same. The substance still leads to that, you know, to that everlasting kind of like goal of, of you know peace and and you know prosperity and kicking ass, taking names. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But as far as you know, what is spoken of, I think my experience is are never going to be the same from one year to the next. So therefore, my music has developed with my experiences. Um, and even even over the last year, between myself and Joker, well, I'll be hearing some of the craziest shit come out of my mouth. Mm. When it, but I'm like, but I remember that night. But y'all actually, That's real. Y'all actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, wait a second. You ain't had no shells and night. I took your Glock. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. You ain't had no shells in the Glock. How do you have a Glock with no clip? You ain't got nothing in it. You're right? lacking. Like, so, You're lacking. So for me, I said to myself, I said, I, you know, just speak on your life. And, you know, I, I did the same thing. And, you know, in a sense, and that's it. And, that, you know, being doing that for as long as I've been doing music, just, my life has evolved. And I believe that that evolution comes with my music as well. That's what I said. Not a lot of people rap about what they go through. Um, a lot of people, who, you know, they make up their own world with this rap thing, you know. So, yeah, did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's crazy. Yeah, nah, we talk. You know, we can, we gonna keep it a stack in the booth. You know, I, I never understood that. A lot of people, you know, you know, I see it with you know, even with the hate. But a lot of people go on the record, they go in the booth, and they'll make up some crap. And it's like, bro, you know, people fact check things. Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. gonna blow, you know, people gonna like hate on you and check. They gonna fact check that ass. Yeah. Oh, facts. Correct. <laughs> 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 so it's like, you know, so that that's just the way I see it. Is that listen, I'm not. No, none of that. Plus, I don't think music is genuine if it ain't real. That's just, that's, you know. What do you think about, uh, I'll say, comical rap? There's like literally like maybe a, I love that. a, I love a version that. of rap that's you like, like, a, like a Lil Dicky. You know, yeah, like, Lil Dicky, Lil Windex, and, you know, and all of them. You know what? You know what? You know what made me like it is that you know rap is rap, hip hop is hip hop, man. You know, I, th- I believe that I believe hip hop is responsible for so much in the world that doesn't that it don't get credit for. Yeah. You know, I believe that it's it's united the world low key. A lot of people won't believe me on that, but if they see it, it's the truth. You know no, what I'm saying? Can, I can agree and, with that. Yeah. And it's like it, it doesn't matter if those if, if there's a billionaire family making fun of a rap record but they're singing to it. Yeah. Even if it is making it fun, even mm-hmm. though it's, you know, probably racist and probably has underlying issues, but you are still listening to it. Yeah. It's still, like you know, in yeah. your head. Like so, it doesn't matter. It's still having an impact on the world. And I've seen, I've seen you know, kind of music do the rap. Especially like I said, I've seen rap do that. But you don't think uh, comedy and rap I think affects it, the game negatively in any way? No, not at all. I, I I believe that if they have bars, they have bars. I don't, you know, not everybody. You know, think about it. You know, especially if you're in the streets. You know, sometimes I mean, at least for me, I speak for myself. I ain't. I ain't trying to hear about the next, you know, next month and getting shot. You know what I'm saying? All day I, long. I already yeah. heard that yesterday. I'm trying to like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So sometimes you want positivity. And I think that in the comedy, like I, when I heard that record with Lil Dicky and Snoop Dogg, bro, that was awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, bro, that's, that's, I'm like, bro, you know what he, he said? And he said, he said, I want to change, I want to change the way it is, the standard. Yeah. And I believe that that creates, now we're spreading out hip hop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From this idea of, you know, with the horse blinders on, to now opening it up, there's still that section, there's still yeah. that piece because until every minority is out the hood, until every you know same minority doesn't have to suffer from all that, we still gonna have records like that. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. gonna have to happen because we got event. We got yeah, that experience is still, you know it's still. It's, so, but yeah. then there's now it's got the comedy. And I was like, but and you know even if he's talking about something stupid, you know whatever he's on, but yeah. at the same time, it, it it's gonna make other people talk. 
Yeah. And and if they like the way he raps, well, maybe they don't like they like the way you know MGK rap. And then you know, and then mm -hmm. we just start get going, going. And then now we into you know, you know NBA YoungBoy. Like you know, we got yeah. all the way. You know, and now we're going all the way. So it's like, like I said, I think it's awesome. I think in your music uh, specifically, you you're normally rapping about uh, a lot of like the party like yeah. vibes. You know what I'm saying? You got that music that really yeah. make you wanna freaking pop a pill or something. Yeah, yeah like, or have a I think and, and those are like, the ones you definitely have heard. Um, you're gonna hear a lot darker stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. um, I, I held it all in. Um, you know now it's you know that's not the time. Now it's just like you know now I'm gonna fly. You know, now we, we, we gonna do what we gotta do and that's how I feel. So that's what I'm saying, I'm stepping on next. We going we going ham and you know, candles to start. But I, you, you will see some darker stuff coming. We are city.